Anthony Fasano from the Engineering Management Institute, and we're here at Bentley Systems sitting down with Bob Mankowski. Bob is the Vice President of the Digital Cities Business Unit here at Bentley. We did a full podcast interview that we're going to link to, but Bob, in this Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts video, I just want to ask you one question. You've had a successful career to date. We went through it a lot in the podcast, but oftentimes when we look back on our career, there's maybe like one decision or one point in our career that was a big moment in your career in terms of the progression of your career. Yeah. Can you think of one that you can share with us? Yeah, absolutely. So after college, I moved out to Los Angeles to join the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, and I worked there for about four years. And um, the department was downsizing and they were giving incentives to young engineers, young people who had been there less than five years, mm. and um, financial incentives to leave the company. Wow. And um, I took that opportunity, and that gave me the flexibility to pursue a different career. I wanted to get into software development, and so with a little bit of money in hand, I was able to pursue a different career path. And then when I, I hooked up with this company, Haystead Methods, and they didn't want to hire me at first as a, as a programmer because I didn't have the, the skills. Um, but they took a chance on me uh, and brought me into the company as an engineer. And that really was a, it was a huge change in my life. And, and, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for my colleague at L.A. who told me about this company, Haystead right. Methods. Right. And the, the colleague at Haystead Methods who took a chance on me to, to join the company. That's interesting. And I guess just one question on that, um, Bob. <clears throat> You know, you mentioned where your colleague, you know, mentioned the opportunity to yep. you out in L.A. Do you think that it was helpful that you had some kind of career, you know, goal or vision of, you know, getting into software, coming back to the East Coast so that helped you to like, were you, to like recognize the opportunity? Yeah, I think it did. I, I think that um, I really, at the, at the heart of it was a passion for software development for, for basically computer technology and, and right. um you know, ultimately, that's where I wanted to do that and apply that to civil engineering. Like, that was my goal. Right. It was like, you know, I got the opportunity at L.A. to work with computers. You know, we were doing computer-aided design and drafting and so forth. But I really wanted to, to do more than that. And, right. and as a career, I wanted to create programs that would help civil engineers be more efficient, mm -hmm. to be more productive, to create better designs. Um and, uh, and that's what led me. So I had that sort of passion that led me uh, in this direction. That's great because I just think that often opportunities come our way in our careers and sometimes we see them and sometimes we don't. But I feel like sometimes when you have a vision of where you want your career to go and where you think you want to be headed, you know, and whether it's personal or professional, like maybe you wanted to come back east right. for personal reasons and for professional reasons you want to get into software because you really were excited about it. And that opportunity surfaced and you were like, bam, there it is. And That's so I think it's just important that you can find great opportunities, but they're more on your radar, I feel like, when you kind of have some direction and where you're headed. So once again, Bob Mankowski, Bentley Systems. Bob, thanks again for spending some time with us. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure.